Hello, my name is Michael Whipple. I'm an ITAM consultant with NCSI. Today I'm going to walk you through a purchase order and adding line items and then receiving those items into inventory. So as you can see, we're in the purchase order module. We're going to hit new. It's going to sign a requisition number. Here we're going to add a PO number. We're going to just make one up, 2233. It's going to be submitted by me. And the submitted by is going to be today's date. And the vendor is going to be CDW. And the name can be anything that you use for internal processing. I'm going to call this marking order September 2020. And from here, I'm going to save. So as you can see, it created an item, I put it in the created state, and only in the created state can we actually add line items. Now we add a line, new line item in, we're gonna add a hardware line item, and these items come from the, from the catalog. So these have to exist already. So we're gonna order this Lenovo ThinkPad X1, and we're gonna give it an item name, which this can be anything you use internally, or it could just be this. So I'm just gonna copy this over. And any information that you have in the catalog will copy over as you uh, in, include this item in. If there's a contract or a contract line item associated with it, it will also do that. If you put a cost in, it will associate that as well, as well as a part number, color, weight, dimensions, information. Now, the other piece of this is here. If you hit create asset, if you have this checked, it will actually create a stub record and an asset item. So as we hit save, we will come in and we'll see that this is now created in here. And you can open it up and look at it again. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit submit. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna move it to an approved state. After the approved state, within a couple seconds, the processor will create an asset. As you can see, this asset is computer 80. So if we go in here to hardware assets and actually do a search for computer 80, we will see that there is an asset record and it is on order. None of the other information has been filled in because it is not known at this time. So it's just on order. So we're gonna go back to the PO and close this tab out. We're gonna go back to the PO and we're gonna go back to this asset. Now, once this asset is actually ordered and is received by the technician or the customer or wherever it's received at, at that time, you can double click on it and assign it an asset tag if that's an internal number you have, a serial number, which is something that comes from the vendor. Um, just gonna make something up here. Barcode RFID and a condition if you wanna put one in. So we're gonna hit save. And what that does is it now is a, gives it the ability to take delivery. So taking delivery will actually move that asset and give it some information and put it and give it an asset, uh, a more detailed asset record. So we hit take delivery. And what that's gonna do is we're gonna say still new. It's in North America, USA. Uh, one of these locations has a and that one has a storage space. So an item has to be put into a storage space before it can be given to a customer or a user. So we're gonna hit okay. And if you come back in and you wanna look at stock management and look at that location, you will see that USA now has computer 80 assigned to it. This is also where you would uh, give it a new name if you wanted to change it and give it to your, your naming convention and, and those. So once that item is in, it's complete. You can use these other tabs to uh, attach the invoice, give it some shipment information that's attached to it. This is where this other information will come in. This line item is still available. And once it's approved and done, you can say completed and hit save and it's done. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into that record and we're going to go into hardware assets. And as you can see, computer 80 is now in here as a laptop. It is no longer on order. It is in stock because it is in a stock location. Now we're going to assign it a user. We're going to hit assign to. We're going to assign it to me. So we're going to say M Whipple and hit OK. And what that does is it makes it assigned and it, and it saves it. The other thing you can do now is you can go into an employee record. You can look at that employee record and you can see that I have computer 80 now assigned to me. And go back over to hardware assets, close out, and it is grouped. And from this record, you can either assign it a different grouping if it's a different grouping, change the name of the computer at any point, if your naming convention changed, but the, the, anything with a red asterisk is required. Okay, so that is taking a, an item into from a purchase order, taking it and then putting it in stock. Have a good day.